welcome back in one of our earlier classes we have learned about binary arithmetic there we have learned how to add subtract multiply and divide two binary numbers in today's class we will learn about octal arithmetic so let's get started first we will proceed with octal addition and i will explain the logic with examples so first we will add 762 and 1 with 153 now we know that in octal number system the base is 8 we have 8 digits from 0 to 7 so looking at these two numbers what we can see is that all the uh, all the digits in both the numbers are within that range only so these numbers are represented in octal number system next we will add these two numbers so we will start with least significant digit here 2 and 3 when 2 and 3 will be added we know that result of addition is 5 but what to write here after addition now the rule is suppose if the value of that digit is n then it can be or it is represented as c multiplied by b plus s where c signifies carry b signifies base of that number system and s signifies sum so here the first in the first place the result of addition is our 5 so how 5 can be represented in this format n is 5 and base is 8 so the carry here will be 0 multiplied by 8 plus s so here it will be 5 and this s value will be between 0 to 7 if that value exceeds 7 that will be forwarded to the next significant bit but since here it is 5 that means it is within the range between 0 and 7 so there will be no carry so in place of carry there will be 0 but base is fixed for octal or any number system for octal it is 8 so in this place we will be writing 5 only now 6 plus 5 so 6 plus 5 11 so how 11 will be represented in this format it will be 8 and here the base will be 1 and here it will be 3 so this is our sum and in this place we will be writing 3 only and how much is the carry carry is 1 which will be forwarded to the next significant bit so here we will have 1 carry now 7 plus 1 will be added first that will give us 8 and with that this carry will be added so finally the result in this position the result of addition will be 9 now how the 9 can be represented using this format 9 will be again base is 8 so here it will be 1 multiplied by 8 plus 1 that means in this place this the sum will be 1 and final carry will be again 1 since we don't have any more digit after that that's why we will be writing the final carry here and this will be our final result of addition of these two numbers in octal number system it is 1135 now if now we want to represent the sum by using only three bits as we are adding two three bits or three digits number then the sum will be one three five and the carry will be one in that case next for adding these two numbers also we will be using the same format that is n is equal to so we will start with least significant digit so here seven plus two when they will be added the result is 9 so we will be writing 9 here and how it can be fit with this format it will be base is 8 so it will be 1 multiplied by 8 plus 1 so sum in this position will be 1 and there will be 1 carry and that will be forwarded to the next significant bit means here now here 3 and 0 will be added so the result will be 3 and with that again this one will be added so it will be finally 4 and how this 4 can be written it will be that means the in this position the real result of addition will be 4 only and there will be no carry to the next significant bit now here we have 5 and 7 so it will be 12 and how 12 will be written so 4 we will be writing in place of sum 
and carry will be 1 and since this is the last this is the most significant digit so we will be writing final carry here so the final result of addition of these two numbers is 1441 next we will proceed with octal subtraction and for that this is the problem sum so as per the rule of normal subtraction first we will subtract 1 from 2 so here the result will be 1 only now we will be subtracting in the next significant position and that is this time we will be subtracting 4 from 3 since 3 is less than 4 so we cannot subtract for that we need to borrow from the next significant bit now suppose if it was in decimal number system we would have borrowed 10 so when we we had borrowed 10 then 10 plus 3 would have become 13 so in that case we would subtract 4 from 13 in decimal number system but this is octal number system so 10 is the base in decimal number system and 8 is the base in octal number system so from the next significant bit in this case we will be borrowing 8 from the next significant digit and when we will borrow 8 so 8 and we already have 3 so 8 plus 3 in this position the value will become now 11 so this rule we have to remember now we will be subtracting 4 from 11 so in this position now we have 11 now when we will subtract 4 from 11 then it will become 7 now since we have already borrowed 8 which is the base of this number system so this 7 now will become 6 suppose in decimal number system if we have a number 73 and from there if we borrow 10 then how much will be the remaining value it will be 63 that means from this position this the value in this position will be decreased by 1 and this will become 6 similarly in any number system if it is octal number system also then if the value is 73 then the maximum value that we can borrow is 8 so when 8 will be borrowed from there from 73 means from the higher significant position to lower significant position then this digit will be again decreased by 1 and this digit will become 6 and that's what it has happened here because in octal number system the representation is like 7 multiplied by 2 8 raised to the power 2 then plus 3 multiplied by 8 raised to the power 1 and then 2 multiplied by 8 raised to the power 0 and similarly this number if we represent then it will be so now 4 will be subtracted from 6 and the result of subtraction will be 2 next we will perform another subtraction between these two numbers so we will start our subtraction from here now as we can see 2 is less than 4 so we have to borrow from this position and we when we will borrow here 8 will be added with 2 so this value will become 10 so in place of 2 now we have plus 10 so 4 will be subtracted from 10 and the value at this position will be 6 now when 8 has been borrowed from this position this 5 will become now 4 so 4 now 5 will be subtracted from 4 again 4 is less than 5 so we have to borrow from this position and uh, when 8 will be borrowed this will become 8 plus 4 means 12 so in place of 4 now we have 12 so 5 will be subtracted this time from 12 so it will be 7 and when 8 has been borrowed from this position the 6 will become now 5 so this time at most significant digit position 2 will be subtracted from 5 and this result of subtraction will be 3 at this position final result of subtraction will be 3 7 6 next we will perform multiplication in octal number system we will multiply first these two numbers so first we will have partial products as 5 will be multiplied by 2 and 3 and in the next line 6 will be multiplied by 2 and 3 separately so, and when we will add those two partial products we will get the final product so we will start with 5 when 5 will be multiplied by 2 the result of multiplication is 10 
since 10 is more than 8 so how it can be represented in octal number system we have already seen that relationship so 10 can be represented as here the base is 8 so it will be multiplied by 1 and this time the sum will be 2 so in this place we will be writing 2 and there will be 1 carry which will be forwarded to the next significant digit so here we will have 1 carry next 5 will be multiplied by 3 so it will be 15 and 15 plus 1 it will be finally 16 now how this 16 can be represented it will be 2 multiplied by 8 then plus 0 that means in the position of sum we will be writing 0 and we have carry 2 but since this is the last digit we don't have any more digit to multiply so the carry will be writing here now this is the partial product for 5 and then we will have the partial product for 6 so 6 will be multiplied by 2 when that will be done it will give us 12 so 12 how it can be written it will be 1 multiplied by 8 plus 4 so this time the sum is 4 and the carry is 1 so in place of sum we will be writing here 4 and we will have 1 carry to the next significant bit now this time 6 will be multiplied by 3 that result of or that product will be 18 and 18 with 18 we have 1 carry which is which will give us 19 and how 19 can be written it will be 2 multiplied by 8 and then plus 3 because at the position of sum the digit will be within the range between 0 to 7 for octal number system and that's why we have to fit our number with this format so here the sum will be 3 and we have carry 2 but uh, since this is the most significant digit so we will be writing our carry here only now we will have we will add these two partial products to get the final product so here it will be 2 only 0 plus 4 when they will be added it will give us 4 2 plus 3 when that will be added it will give us 5 and here we will have only 2 so so 2 5 4 2 is the final product or final result of multiplication of these two numbers 3 2 and 6 5 next we will multiply two three digit numbers so first three will be multiplied by five that will give us 15 and how 15 can be arranged it will be one multiplied by eight and then plus seven so in place of sum we will be writing seven and we will have one carry then three multiplied by four so it will give us 12 and 12 with 12 we will add this carry so finally it will give us 13 and 13 will be written as 13 means 8 plus 5 so it will be 1 multiplied by 8 and then plus 5 so in place of sum we will be writing 5 and we have here also we have carry which whose value is 1 and that will be forwarded to the next significant digit now 3 will be multiplied by 2 so that will give us 6 and we have 1 carry so finally that value is 7 and 7 is less than 8 so we will not have any carry at this place so we set forward we will be writing 7 here so this is the first partial product next we will multiply by 6 so 6 when it will be multiplied by 5 the result is 3 0 3 0 means it is 24 plus 6 so 3 multiplied by 8 and then plus 6 so sum is 6 and carry is 3 so here in place of sum we will be writing 6 and we will have carry whose value is 3 next 6 will be multiplied by 4 so it will give us 24 24 and we have carry 3 so it will be 27 and 27 means it is 24 plus 3 that means 3 multiplied by 8 and then plus 3 so this time sum is 3 and carry is also 3 so in place of sum we will be writing 3 and uh, in place of carry we will be writing also 3 and that will be forwarded to the next significant digit that's why we have written here now 3 will 6 will be multiplied by 2 so it will be 12 and 12 will be added with this 3 so finally it is 15 and 15 means 8 plus 7 7 will be written and then this carry and that will be straightforward written here because we don't have any more digit to multiply 
now we will perform the last partial product and that is for 1 so 1 will be multiplied by 5 and that will give us 5 only and since 5 is less than 8 so it we will be writing 5 here then 1 will be multiplied by 4 again it will give us 4 only and since 4 is less than 8 so we'll be writing 4 no issue and then 1 will be multiplied by 2 that value will be 2 only and that is also less than 8 so we'll be writing 2 straightforward now we will add these three partial products to get our final product so here we have only 7 so we'll be writing here then 6 plus 5 6 plus 5 is 11 and 11 how we can write 11 11 is 8 plus 3 so 1 multiplied by 8 then plus 3 so in place of sum we'll be writing 3 and we have one carry that will be forwarded to the next level so here then 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 5 15 plus 1 16 so 16 means it is 2 multiplied by 8 and here we will have in place of sum 0 so here we will be writing 0 and we will have carry 2 and that will be forwarded to the next level so here now 7 plus 4 11 plus 2 13 13 means it is 8 plus 5 so it is 1 multiplied by 8 and then plus 5 so here we will be writing 5 and then we will have one carry and that we will be writing here only so 2 plus 1 3 plus 1 4 so 4 5 0 3 7 is our final product so in this class we have learned how to add subtract and multiply two numbers in octal number system with this i end today's class thank you